So, good day everyone. Our topic for today is about control structure. So, of course, uh, under control structure, we have conditional and repetition. So, but of course, under conditional uh, control structure, we have if statement, if else statement, if else if statement, and the switch statement. So, if statements actually are used to compare two values and carry out diverse events based on the results no, of the test. So, if a statement taken form if, then else, basically the if part checks for a condition. So, if it is true, then uh, the statement is executed. If not, then else is statement is executed. So, using this conditional statement can add new layers of pool to your website. And, uh, of course, this will be the syntax for if a statement. So, if condition begin, codes to be executed if condition is true. Else, code to be executed if condition is false. Another syntax for if else if statement. So, if condition begin, code to be executed if this condition is true. Else, if condition, code to be executed if first condition is false and this condition is true. Else, code to be executed if all conditions are false. Okay, so prior to that, I just want to give you an example of a PHP codes using if else statement and if else if statement. And at the same time, switch statement. Okay, so don't forget, of course, to run your... Uh, some control always uh, run the Apache and MySQL as uh, required for you to run the PHP program. So based on what I have uh, here, so for example, our, the, our $t for date, that is H, uh, H, then if $t is greater than or equal to 20, echo have a good day. Else, echo have a good night. So this will be the first statement. So if the, the, the first statement is correct, so display have a good day but if it's uh, greater than 20 have a good night so since today is uh, still uh, morning or day so this uh, program must display have a good day right so to run again go to our uh, local host then your folder see to it that your uh, file save in our htdocs folder so if one then press enter so this will be present. so as you can see here have a good day so for example if we want to uh input for example a 28 for example not 28 so what will happen we just try to to try so what will happen then press enter still have a good day Okay, now, how about the if else if statement? So, as what we have here, uh, if this is uh, less than 10, have a good morning. Uh, less than 20, have a good day. Else, have a good night. Okay, so, file save, of course, this is already saved. Then type f2 so my file name is f2.php then press enter so hi still morning because it's still 12 no so i think start with uh 1 p.m not to start with 1, 1 p.m another example of course upper example about grades so as what i have here in my presentation no so we had a prelim, midterm, and finals. And we're going to compute for the general average and determine if the student is passed or failed. So based on the code. So as what we discussed previously that we are allowed no, to embed PHP into HTML code or vice versa. We could uh, embed HTML into PHP. So... Based on this given example, no, based on this uh, example, we're going to embed the so 
So based on this given example, no? So a while ago, no, before uh, maybe I was not able to record, no? So based on the given uh, example, no? So if, no? So T is equal, for example, 20, no? So echo have a good day, else have a good night. So uh, again, we will try to run. So if one, PHP. Okay, so have a good day. Then the, uh, another example a while ago, It's also uh, the if else if statement in PHP. So as what we have here, less than 10, that is have a good morning. Uh, less than 20, that is uh, have a good day. And uh, else, have a good night. So if we're going to run, so file, our file name is F, if two, press uh, that PHP. So have a good morning. Okay, so another example, as what I have here, no? We have here the grades, no? So prelim, midterm, finals. We need to input the prelim, the midterm, the finals, and compute for the general average in display if the student is passed or failed. Okay, so how about the code? Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, no? So we could able to embed HTML to PHP or PHP to HTML and vice versa. So the common HTML, of course, functions that we could create a form, no method post. So prelim for that for us to input the prelim, midterm, and finals. Then we have an input type submit and compute. So for the PHP program, for us to compute the prelim uh, to get the average, we need to compute for prelim as pre, midterm as mid and final a spin but since we we just want to get the average so we divide these three inputs into three so this one if average is greater, greater than or equal to 75 congratulations you are passed else sorry you are failed okay so again don't forget to save so i save it already that grades that php so for us to run don't forget again to save your work in our htdoc folder. So grades.php. Sorry. Then press enter. Sorry, we have double point. No? Yan. Okay, so for example, 90, 80, 72, or, kaya, or uh, so 89. Then compute. So as you can see here, 86.33. Congratulations, you are passed. How about if I just want to try the failing score? Okay, so 70, 76, 72. So compute. So this 76, 72.67. Sorry, you are failed. Okay. How about The switch statement. Okay, so again, we need to take note that switch statement is the same, naman under the con uh, conditional statement. So this will be the syntax: switch n within in n is a variable, na to handle the switch statement. So case label one code to be executed if n is equal to label one break. Case label two code to be executed if n level two break. Case level 3 could to be executed if n is equal to level 3. Break. And so on and so forth. For example, if you have 10, 15, 20 no? uh, condition, then default code to be executed if n is different from all levels. So to give you a sample, so as what we have here, so we have a switch statement here. So for example, paved color is called to red. So, paved color red is equal to red, blue, green, and uh, default, your favorite color is neither red, blue, nor green. Okay, so as you can see here, based on the given syntax, we just simply follow the syntax actually. It's too easy for us to follow no? and to uh, create a PHP code following the syntax no? for the statement. Okay, so I will be able to run what will be our file name, sorry. 
uh, switch.php. And go to our uh, web browser. Then switch that php and press enter so as you can see favorite color is red so if we want to change for example the pave color is uh yellow so it's not available no so file save then press enter so your favorite color is neither red blue nor green because uh, as what we define in our program the fave color is yellow and it is not available in our switch statement. So therefore, the default value was displayed. Okay. Okay. Last example for uh, this uh, if or conditional structure. So we have a payroll here, a simple payroll actually. Okay. So as what I have here again, we uh, we embed no PHP into HTML codes or HTML tags. So again, we use a form no, to have uh, for our inputs. No? So name, subject, or section subject, gender, number of hours work, and rate per hour. But this time, I just want also to display the SSS, the tax, and the total deduction, of course, and the net pay. For us to get the net pay, gross pay minus total deduction. The total deduction covered tax, SSS. Okay. So, for example, uh, tax is 12%, uh, assuming that SSS is 0 0.08. Okay? Then, uh, if GP is greater than 50,000, you are an administrator. Else, you are a professor. Okay? So, for example, your name is uh, uh -huh, Juana. Juana Cruz. Juana. Juana Cruz. Okay? Okay, so for example, again, don't forget to save your work. File save as. So as what we have here, that is payroll.php. No? Then either PHP hypertext prep, uh, prep processor file or just simply choose all types. Then save. So mayroon na po ako, kaya yes na lang. Then run, that is payroll. No? Again, web browser for us to run the php code you know, then press enter <clears throat> so for example name obri abante section for example is bscs 1y1-1 section for example is uh, subject uh, web System technologies, gender, female, for example, number of hours work is 50, rate per hour, for example, a 800, no? then compute. So as what we have here, no, it display the full name that na, na tinape natin, no? the, the section, the subject, the gender, and the gross pay. So gross pay is 40,000. Tax is 4.8. SSS is 4,000. Total deduction, that is 8.8 because 4.8 plus 4,000 is 8.8. Net pay, magkano lang na uwi? 31,200. Okay? From 40,000 because the total deduction is 8,800. Okay, I think that's it for uh, today. And next meeting, we're going to discuss about the of course, under control structure, pero repetition control structure. Thank, thank you for attending our class. God bless everyone.